my take has always been that you give digital biology a few years and because of more data, because of the number of tests that, for example, Cologuard uh, has screened about 3.5 million plus people the last time I you know, took a look at that. I'm sure you would go down that path. You would get all this data. And with this data, there would be more analysis. And you know, with the machine learning algorithms, it's going to be able to predict. I mean, I don't think that it's going to be remotely any competition with a, the ability of a human being to predict. Screening, I can understand, you know, because it's a sophisticated skill and an art. Uh, but this is a prediction. You would be able to predict things that I don't think, uh, you know, we'd be able to do in the traditional uh, colonoscopy approaches. What do you think? No, I completely agree. I think you're absolutely right. As uh, you know, the more we learn about this, the more we learn about the power of RNA. And as I mentioned, this is not a, just a test. We consider this a platform so because the potential for utilizing this test is different for even higher risk cancers, for other disease states, for other GI technology. There's always going to be an opportunity to learn how there'll be different iterations of this test to begin with. So this ability to develop the test even further and enhance the sensitivity and specificity from where it is today, but also the applications with other disease states and how it interacts with you know different disease states and that can lead to, to cancer. So you're absolutely right. I think the potential for it to grow and expand and evolve beyond where we are today, leveraging machine learning algorithms is definitely a possibility.